Hi YouTube, it's Carrie, Lady VSG, here with my week 40 post-op update. Today is Monday, January 11th, 2016. I had my VSG surgery April 6, 2015 in Tijuana, Mexico with Dr. Ariel Ortiz at the Obesity Control Center. I am 5'7". When I booked the surgery, I weighed 301.8 pounds. Day of surgery, I weighed in at 272. And this morning, I weighed 177.8 pounds, so a loss of 2.9 pounds over the past week, and a total loss of 124 pounds, which I'm very excited about because if you watch my videos, you know that last week's update was super late, and I just posted it on Friday, and I had been eating really crappy for like a week and a half, and I didn't think I was going to... I'm surprised I lost as much as I did, like almost three pounds this week. And I mean, honestly, I think it's just that I very consciously went back to a very strict diet of like protein shakes twice a day, super high protein, very low carb eating, um, and just making sure that I was getting my water in. And I actually, one of the things I want to talk to you about is, um, I discovered an app called Plant Nanny. Um, I actually found it over Christmas break and it's helped me just sort of be more mindful of getting my water in because it's set up like a game and you you plant a little seed and you set your parameters for how much, like what your water goal is for the day. And I have it set to just, it alerts me every two hours to tell me to drink water. And so, you can pick your favorite cup, you know, like whatever size you're most likely to be drinking. And so every time you drink one, you just log into the app and like tap on the cup to register that you, you drank the whole thing and it waters your plant. Um, so I've grown two plants now. It, the first one took like 10 days to grow up and the second one took two weeks. So it is like it's time consuming and you don't, they don't grow up really fast, which is annoying, but you know, but you end up with these cute little plants and you, you get a little garden and then the, the currency of the game is seeds. And so your grown up plants that you have in your garden will produce seeds. And that way you can buy new flower pots and different, you know, different plants and little things like that. But anyway, it's super cute and it's helped me. It's so weird. It, it helps me drink my water because I've, I've tried other apps where it's just sort of like, um, I think one of them was water minder or something. And it's just sort of a generic outline of a body and it fills up, you know, and, um, but the fact that you're trying to grow this little plant, cause there were a couple of days where I didn't, you know, I drank most of my water, but I didn't get all of my water in and your plant starts to die, which for me was just like, Oh my God, no, like this fake plant on my phone. I feel so bad. And it, if you, let's see, so I did two days in a row where I didn't get all my water in. And it was like, if you do this for a third day, your plant will die. Like that is just how the game works. And so I was very conscious on that third day. I was like, I have to get all my water in. So for me, this is, this is an app that works because like, I feel personally responsible for this imaginary plant. But anyway, but it works. So if that's something that, you know, maybe would work for you, I recommend the app. It's called Plant Nanny. The plants are super cute. Um, but yeah, and you can, you get to name them and I name them silly things. Like I have a snowman plant that I named Fluffernutter because I thought it was funny. Anyway, so that's, that's been helping me get my water in. And I think, you know, just between being really tightly controlled with my carbohydrates lately, um, <clears throat> And getting all my water in, I think, were the two biggest influences. Um, and I also started back up with Couch to 5K. I jumped back in where I'd left off before I had the gallbladder surgery. So I was, I finished, I think, week five, day one today. Um, you know, and it, it surprises me how easy, I guess, it was to sort of get back into it. Um, I mean, definitely, because today was three like three rounds of jogging for five minutes. And, you know, most of the way through the second round, I was like, oh, like I'm, I'm getting kind of tired. But then it was like, I only have like 90 seconds left of jogging. I can do this. 
And then the third round, it was like two minutes into it. I'm like, oh, I'm so tired. But, you know, I'd already done it twice before. So I, you know, I was able to sort of power through and do the jogging for the whole five minutes all three times. So I was very proud of myself in that regard. Um, I'm a little bit nervous because I hear that week six is when it just all of a sudden dumps you into, hey, you're going to jog for 20 minutes straight. And I'm not real excited about that. But one of my goals for 2016, um, when my sister asked if I did any resolutions, I was like, no, I don't do resolutions because I never keep them. But then I realized like setting personal goals and stuff, that's kind of like a resolution. So I guess I did. I want to I want to participate in at least six 5Ks in 2016. So I registered for one on February 6th called the Worst Day Run or something like that um, here in the Portland area. And then I also registered for the Shamrock Run. Now my goal for the Shamrock Run, which is March 13th, is to actually jog, whether it's, I mean, whether it's my treadmill pace or whether it's just like, the slowest motion jog of my physical capabilities, we will see. But I want to actually jog the whole 5K for Shamrock Run. Um, my sister and I did the Hot Buttered Run right around, it was like Thanksgiving weekend. Um, and I posted about that and my sister made me the cute little outfit and I, you know, it was fun. Um, and so that, like, for that one, I finished in 45 minutes, which was a personal best for me for any kind of 5K. It's also the first 5K that I jogged any stretch of. So for the worst day run on February 6th, I want, it's sort of like a, a measuring stick for me. I, you know, I definitely want to be faster than I was for hot buttered run. I would like to jog as much as possible. You know, but I kind of, I want to see sort of where I'm at and what I need to do in order to be able to run the whole time four or five weeks later. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. And that'll be two of the six 5Ks, you know, and so I'm well on my way for my, my little goals. So I'm, I'm excited about that, even though I'm not thrilled about the fact that apparently next week, Couch to 5K is going to be kicking my ass. Um... Let's see, I, I made a little list on my phone of stuff I want to talk to you guys about. Oh, so in terms of eating, so in um, so with the protein shakes and stuff, I like to cook, but, you know, I had weight loss surgery and I live by myself. So, I mean, obviously I don't eat a whole lot. And, you know, I, I grew up in a Lutheran household and my mom is from the Midwest. So I really like casseroles. And they're they're easy and... Um, they, they hold up pretty well in the fridge. So what I've been doing or what I did was I made sort of like a breakfast casserole. So it was, um, sausage and eggs and cheese and I didn't have enough eggs in my fridge as the recipe called for. So I just added a little extra milk. Um, and then I did, I had some bread, which, you know, I'm, I'm trying to really restrict my carbohydrate intake, but you know, the recipe called for breadcrumbs and stuff. So I chopped up the bread and toasted it in the oven and threw that in and honestly I think the next time I'm just gonna omit it all together because I'm not I honest I don't think it's contributing much to the recipe at all but um, but basically just sort of mixed all that together put it in a pan and baked it in the oven for like 45 to 45 minutes to like an hour maybe um, and so the, I, so it's basically just like a big pan of like breakfast scramble sort of thing happening and it's, it's been really good. I love it because, you know, it's great. It's great for breakfast, but usually I'm having protein shakes for breakfast. Um, you know, I put like, put a little salsa on there, put some hot sauce on there and it's, it's fantastic. And I love it. And I don't mind eating the same thing over and over again because I love, you know, like I tell you all the time, I'm lazy. And this way I have food ready to go in the fridge. I just have to heat it up. And that works out really well for me because one of my pitfalls, even, you know, ever since I've been living on my own, is that I, I don't, I'm really terrible about doing any sort of food prep. And then all of a sudden it's like, I'm hungry, I need to eat now. I don't have the patience or the energy at this point to cook anything, I'll go get fast food. Um, so since the surgery, obviously I'm eating fast food a lot less. And this way, like, I just, I have food ready to go in the, 
in the fridge. I still have from when I made meatballs. I've got a bunch of meatballs in the freezer in like little portioned out, you know, I can eat three to six at a time. So they're in little Ziploc baggies and I have those ready to go if I need. So with like little, little things like that, I find are really helping me out. Um, what else? Oh, so in terms of how I'm feeling, I'm really excited because I have a sort of chart on my fridge that my surgeon gave me and it had like what once a month when I do my weigh-ins, um, it wants my, my weight and my body fat percentage and my BMI. And they had a goal listed for me that by my one year post-op, um, they wanted me underneath 180 pounds, which as of right now I am. And I'm really excited about that because it's 12 weeks early. So yay me. Um, so, and then they said, you know, once you get down to under 180, we really want you focusing on getting that body fat percentage down. Um, and the initial goal is to get it below, I think, 30%. And then the secondary goal is to get it down below 25 or 26%, something like that. So that's kind of where I'm at now. Um, so I've got sort of 12 weeks. Well, I mean, the, you know, 12 weeks early for hitting my weight goal. So, oh, you can hear my new washer singing me a song. Um, so I've, I've hit the, the weight loss goal 12 weeks early, so I, I guess now I should be focusing on the body fat, which means lifting weights, which I'm still not real thrilled with, but we'll see. Like, I got to get back into the habit of going to body pump because that was, that was really good, and I was seeing improvement with that, and since I stopped going, it's leveled off, and, you know, obviously I need to get back on the horse in that way. Um... So yeah, I think that is, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I can't remember if I told you, um, I mean, I, I've always been a huge coffee drinker. So one of the things I've been doing with my protein shakes, cause I'm having them for breakfast every day is, um, I, I had been making my protein shakes with half milk and half water to, you know, like reduce the calorie content and make them a little thinner. Cause I, on, I do better with them when they're pretty thin. I don't. Like when they're, th when they're thick shakes, like they sit heavy in my stomach and it, I don't feel good. So like I thin them out pretty much, you know, pretty heavily. Um, one of the things that I've been doing since I've been having them for breakfast is doing like either half milk and half coffee or half coffee and half water. And, and that makes it like really thin, but you know, it's fine. Um, sometimes like, it, you know, it honestly depends. They the coffee because I'm brewing the coffee hot because I never remember to remake the cold brew coffee. Um, the protein shake can be a little warm, which is weird, but you know, whatever I'm used to it at this point. Um, but just, you know, if that's something that interests you, just be mindful that you're, you know, you either need to make the coffee in advance or you're going to have kind of a warm protein shake, but, but I like it because then I'm getting my coffee in cause I am kind of a caffeine addict. Um, so it gets me my coffee, gets me my protein shake, and then I feel like I'm ready to start my day. So that's kind of what's going on with me. Um, I hope you all are doing really well, and I will see you again next week. Bye.